Okay, so I want to do uh, this is just a just a quick video to show you the uh, Sony Bravia firmware update that's available. This this came out back in June. Uh, what I want to show you quickly is uh, the notifications that you're going to see from the Bravia. It's in your upper right hand corner of the TV. Uh, there's a small bell that's got a red dot indicating that you've got some notifications. Uh, one of those notifications will be as if you have a, a software update available. Okay, and in my case, here on my TV, I've also got a, apparently, I've got a, uh, a low battery on my uh, remote control, and so it's letting me know about that. But anyhow, so if you click on it, um, you can go and see all your notifications. Uh, if you do have a software update available, uh, that will pop up under uh, all notifications. It'll also show up under your important notifications as well. And then you uh, simply click on that, uh, that link for the software update and it will begin uh, downloading the update and preparing to install the, uh, the new firmware. Taking a look at the actual uh, update as it shows up on the screen of your Sony Bravia. Uh, and you can see it's got the firmware number there, version 6, 7546. And this came out back in uh, June 2024. And then you just click the update button and it will start downloading the update and preparing for installation. And uh, what I didn't know when I started this was uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, so this, this file that you're downloading uh, is two gigabytes. So it's a fairly large update. It's actually, it's a very large update for the uh, Sony Bravia TV. And so I was going to record it all, and uh, I was just using my phone, and so I just decided, no, I'm going to I'm going to switch over and I'll turn the timer on instead of just recording what it ended up being about uh, 10 minutes of uh, download and installation uh, prep time. Um, however, once that's done, once your your 10 minutes is up, nine minutes and 34 seconds exactly, uh, it will pop up on the screen and say that the update is ready. And uh, if you click on that, it will say software update is ready to go. And uh, you need to turn off the TV or reboot the TV to complete your installation. Okay, so at this point, um, what I'm doing now is I am uh, just press and hold the power button to do a restart. And the Bravia TV is now restarting. And as it is restarting, it is, is updating and installing uh, the firmware. So you can see this little screen pops up, says there is an installation going on. Uh, and then the Sony uh, Start logo comes back on. And it takes a, a little bit longer to load at this point. Okay, and then you get back to uh, the normal little rectangle color changing uh, load up screen. All right, that's going. And again, this takes, takes much longer than normal. This typically only spins around for a few seconds. Uh, in this case, it's going for I don't know, about a minute or so. Okay, so, uh, so then the next thing that pops up is a little thing saying it's checking for updates. Uh, even though the update just finished running, uh, there should not be any further updates unless it's trying to check for uh, maybe some of the apps uh, that are already installed on the, on the Bravia. And now you're gonna get to your regular um, load up screen. And the installation now is complete. Um, all told, that took about uh, 15 minutes uh, of total time to get it going. So, not a big deal, uh, but if you're sitting down to watch the Olympics or start up a movie and you do see the update software uh, notification, you may wanna <laughs> you know, hit pause on it. You can say, uh, remind me later or, or just ignore it. And then uh, update it at a later point in time when you've got, uh, you know, don't have anything on your schedule to watch. <laughs> But uh, real easy to do, and uh, I haven't noticed any big up updates or changes to the software itself. I'll, uh, I'll play around with it a little bit more just to see 
uh, but it seems like most of the uh, changes are behind the scenes. It's supposed to help with stability and um, overall performance of the software. So uh, yeah, we'll see.